There's a very old saying here on the mountains that says you can tell a lot about a person by the type of beanie they wear. So before you get dressed and hit the slopes, you may want to consider what type of message your headwear is sending out to fellow riders. Beanies with ear flaps suggest there was no mirror at the time of purchase. Headband wearers fit into two categories, guys and girls who are on the slopes and hoping to meet people and want to look their very best at all times with as much hair showing as possible to flick around. Or two, people with rather large ears. Helmets say that either you're under the age of 12 and your mum understandably wouldn't let you go riding around without one on. Or if you are over 12 that you are one serious regular skier or boarder and intend to blast down the mountain at top speed. No beanie, but just a hoodie from your jumper sends out the strong signal that you can find me at the terrain park 24-7 and chances are my pants will be sitting awkwardly around my waist, showing just a hint of boxer and butt crack to entice the ladies. From my experience, fur hats are rarely seen on the slopes, but at alpine bars or restaurants where the wearer is sipping on a glue vine and talking about their upcoming trip to St Anton's. No beanie suggests you've never been to the snow before and clearly don't understand headwear is a must. A balaclava says I'm a seasoned skier or boarder and I'm about to head to the backcountry where the weather is wild and scare some Japanese tourists on my way down the mountain. And finally, owning 22 beanies or more means you haven't quite figured out your niche in the snow riding circuit. A beanie with a pom-pom on top is definitely the look this season. So Kelly, what do you think? Pom-pom's all about you, Samantha. <laughs> I think I'll take it.